yeah, I mean, it was obviously a big couple of weeks, you know, coming off the Premiership, obviously the highest of highs at AFL level and throughout my career. Number two, Mark Lacroix. I got to enjoy that. And I suppose there was a you know, big question over um, the next couple of weeks as to what I was going to do next year. I spoke to Simo you know, within the, the next few days and he sort of said just take my time, um, let the emotion sort of settle down and, and make a sort of clear decision. I had the wrist surgery coming up, which was not long you know, after the celebrations finished and probably in the couple of days before that. You know, I realised that I'd come to the decision that um, I wasn't going to play on next year. It's been on my mind um, all year, so it's obviously been out of contract. And then especially when I hurt my wrist, there was probably two weeks when I thought I might not play again um, with the advice that I was given. And luckily we were able to work through that and my next goal was just to get through the year and then we'll reassess it at the end of the year and we were able to do that as well. Um, but, I mean, every time I went to an oval where I knew we weren't playing, Again this year, I tried to soak it in because I knew that potentially it would be the last time I, I played at, at the grounds. So prelim final, Optus, MCG versus Collingwood before, you know, finals. And then was lucky enough to MCG have the, have the victory to lap, so it um, was a pretty good chance to soak it all in. The only time on the ground when I realised that, you know, we couldn't lose was 10 seconds left. I knew there was 10 seconds to go. The ball was up our end, they couldn't score. so. I started tearing up uh, and then the siren went and you know JK who I played so much footy with was right there. Couldn't believe we did it, you know, like it was finally got one. Not much of it made sense. I know Redo tried to get in on it, but he sort of got pushed away pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> then you realise that the cuddle was gonna last for a little bit longer than what he initially thought, but to have played that much footy uh, together and with everyone in, in the team, you know, but to Go through some of the lows we did and some of the changes we had to make as a footy club together and then, yeah, to, to win one, um, it's, yeah, it's just so special. I mean, to be a part of a premiership team, I, the premiership player tag doesn't mean as much as, you know, being able to share it with your teammates. So being part of a group that was able to make it to the end of the AFL season as the best team for that year, you know, reunions, stuff like that. Um, I've made so many great mates at the footy club, but to now be bonded for, for life and there's definitely going to be times where we catch up um, and get together to know that, you know, for the rest of my life that's going to be happening. But, yeah, it means the world to me. I think if we didn't win the, win the flag, it would have been a much tougher decision. You know, it's what are you at risk when, you know, you haven't, when you haven't got a premiership. So for us to, to win it sort of made the decision a lot easier for me. And I know walking away, you still feel like you, you might miss out on something, but after the, the grand final, you know, you're on the highs of those emotions and you want to play on forever and, um, you know, back to back and all that sort of stuff goes through your mind, which, you know, I think the group is, is really capable of, but, you know, I've had my window um, at the footy club and I think I'm going to miss that the most coming in and, you know, seeing the boys every day. 99! <laughs> there were times in my career where I thought, you know, it would have been nice to get drafted a couple of years earlier, you know, to obviously get the property boom and also the uh, <laughs> the early premiership. Mike Lacroix on the way to a memorable debut as the league surges past 100. Obviously you walk in the door and it, the team's full of superstars and are making grand finals um, in your first two years. But your main focus is just trying to break into the side. I remember walking in the door my first day here and talking to Trevor Woodhouse who's in recruiting and he sort of said, you know, the plan is to build you up, you know, 10 years at AFL level. And I sort of was thinking to him, mate, 10 years, you know, that seemed like a mile away and I would have been happy to play a couple of years, you know, so to be able to, you know, squeeze 14 years out of it is it's pretty special. Oh. <laughs> Lucky enough to have some things going on with a, a family business, which I'm sure I'll spend a fair bit of time doing. And then there's, you know, I'll take some time and see what other opportunities pop up. But, you know, I've got some stuff in the media with, with fishing and I love doing that. So um, we'll see where that takes us. But, you know, I might end up back down at training, kicking footies out from behind the goals. It really got left to me. It was, the, you know, I'd, I'd been a 
really supportive family for my whole footy career. If I ever wanted any advice, I'd be able to get it off them, but for them, um, they're looking forward to, to spending a bit of time with me, you know, not travelling away for away games and stuff like that and, you know, being able to spend some time with my brother and dad and sister and that that live up in Savannies, which I haven't been able to, you know, see a lot over, over the years, but I think they're excited about that. A pressure kick, an important kick, right on the side of three-quarter time, and the Eagles have all the momentum. It's the yeah, best footy club um, in the world to be able to be here for, you know, your whole career, one, one club. You know, we've been through everything, you know, we've finished last, we've finished first now, and, you know, we've had some great people come in the doors and made some lifelong friendships, and, you know, I walk in as a kid and leave... You know, an adult with a couple of kids myself, so I love the footy club, love everyone that's involved in it and, you know, look forward to watching many games down the track.